This is our video number 16 on payroll accounting in Dell ERP 9. And in this video, we are discussing that how we can process the salary. So we have two methods. We can process the salary for user defined pay heads and we can process the salary for pay heads with calculation methods. So first I'm going to show you that how we can process the salary with user defined pay heads. So for that, we need to go in payroll voucher. Okay, for that first, I'm gonna show you uh, that uh, we need to enter the salary details. So we are going in payroll info. In payroll info, we have salary details, enter, and we need to define, enter. So first, I'm gonna check for Ali, enter. So that is the salary details which we enter. But now we need to enter the basic salary here. So the basic salary for Ali, that is 10,000 and overtime is 15 dirham. So the basic salary we need to enter, that is 10,000, enter. And these are uh, that user defined pay heads, enter. Overtime is, that is 15 uh, dirham per hour, enter, enter and save it. So this is how we are, we are defining the salary details and we enter, enter the relevant rates. Enter, save it. Next, I'm gonna do it for John Wick. Enter, effective from this, 2020. Enter, copy from parent value. Enter, so the basic salary for John Wick, that is uh, 7,000 dirham and overtime is 10 dirham. So basic salary is 7,000 and overtime is, that is 10 dirham per hour. Enter and save it. After this, we're gonna enter this, the basic salary information for the employee, which is Batman. That is 6,000 basic salary and overtime is 15 dirham. So we're gonna record it for the Batman. Enter, so basic salary is 6,000 and overtime is 15 dirham per hour. Next, we have Wonder Woman, which is 5,000 basic salary and 10 dirham per hour overtime. So 5,000 dirham is the basic salary. Enter, and overtime is 10 dirham per hour. So this is how we enter the the rates for salary details in Tally RP9. So our next step is that we need to enter, uh, that uh, we need to process a salary for user defined uh, information, that user defined pay heads. So for that, we are going in payroll voucher, enter. And in payroll voucher, you need to select the payroll uh, voucher now. First, we enter the information in the attendance voucher now we, we need to process the payroll, uh, the salary. So you need to go control F4, click here and select payroll autofill, enter and process for user defined pay heads, enter. That is for, for which month you are doing it for, we are doing it for the month of January and employee category that is for Dubai office. And uh, we are going to select accounts department right now. We can select all of them, but I'm going to show it uh, department wise right now. Easy to uh, understand. Enter. Uh, sort by employee name and payroll bank cash ledger. We're going to, so here we are selecting uh, payroll bank or cash ledger salary payable because we are not paying through cash at the moment. Enter. And now we need to fill this uh, that uh, user defined pay heads. So the conveyance allowance for this employee Ali, that is 500. Conveyance allowance is 500 and loan is 2000 dirham. So conveyance allowance is 500. There is no holiday pay, there is no bonus, there is no advance against salary and the loan is 2000 dirham. Enter. And so for the John Vick also. So for the John Vick, the conveyance allowance is 500 and there is no advance against salary and there is no loan. 
So here you need to select 500 convenience allowance for John Wick. Enter. There is no holiday pay. There is no bonus pay. There is no advance against salary, and there is no loan. Enter. So that is the uh, that uh, salary payment, the pay period for January till 31st January 2020. Enter and save it. So this is how you will uh, enter that uh, process the payroll uh, for user defined pay heads in Dell ERP9. Similarly, we can do it for that uh, for the other employees also. So that is payroll auto fill user defined for this month. And uh, we're going to select uh, the buy office. And in the buy office, we have only accounts department. So we're going to go back and we're going to select Abu Dhabi office. In Abu Dhabi office, we have marketing department employee name and that is salary payable and we have batman so for batman that is uh, the uh, convenience allowance is 1000 bonus is 2500 because he is working in marketing department so the convenience allowance is 1000 Uh, bonus pay is 2,500 and uh, the loan is 700 only. Enter uh, and that is pay period uh, for January 1st till 31st December, uh, 31st January 2020. Enter, uh, enter and save it. Okay, so now we're going to enter for the uh, the payroll autofill for HR department. So that is user defined. And uh, that is for the by office, HR department, employee name is salary, uh, payroll bank cash ledger, which is salary payable. So convenience allowance for Wonder Woman, that is 500 and at one salary she took 500. So convenience allowance is 500 and at once again is 500. Enter, enter and that is a pay period uh, for this month enter enter and save it. So this is how you are recording uh, That uh, the, uh, we are processing the payroll the salary for user defined pay heads now the second step is that we need to process the salary For the pay heads with the calculation methods. So again for that you need to go in payroll voucher Enter and in payroll voucher again. We have this f4 which is the payroll voucher and you need to select payroll auto fill but this time we are not doing it for the user defined values pay heads now this time we are doing for uh, pay heads with calculation method so which is salary enter for this month enter enter and for the buy office enter and i'm going to select uh, all items at the moment uh, and that is for employee names enter and uh, that is by salary payable enter so that is the basic salary for Ali that is a nine thousand six double seven that is the house rent allowance uh, which is uh, calculated on 40% of the total earnings I will show you uh, this uh, later and that is overtime for this employee so Ali is getting this much salary for the month of uh, January, which is 13,889, uh, 13,897.83. So how this calculation works, uh, we need to tally this also. So the total basic salary of Ali, the total basic, sa uh, the basic salary for Ali, we enter 10,000. So he was absent for one day only. So divided by 31, because January is uh, 31, so minus 10,000. So that is 9677. So that is the basic salary for the month of January. Then we have this house rent allowance. So that depends on the total earnings. So the house rent allowance, how we calculate this value. So 9677 is the basic salary. 9677 is the basic salary. And if you see here, that is on the total earnings. He earned the, uh, the convenience allowance also, which is 500. So if we add the 500 also and the basic salary, enter and multiply with the 40% because that was the 
of the of uh, the basic salary and uh, divided by 100 so that is 4070.80 and because of the rounding and that is the total overtime so plus 150 plus 9677 so that is the total uh, the salary for the month of January for Ali so this is how we are recording the salary uh, uh, we are processing the salary for the pay heads with calculation method and that is a pay period for from January 1st till 31st December uh, 31st January 2020 enter and save it similarly we can do it for the Abu Dhabi office so payroll autofill it is not user defined that is for the salary that is a pay period and now we need to select Abu Dhabi office and we're going to select all items employee name that is salary payable and that is for the batman that is the total basic salary 5806 thousand allowance is this overtime is this so total payable salary to this employee batman it is 8678.40 fills and here you can write your description uh, pay, uh that is that comes automatic and uh, that is a pay period for January 1st uh, 2020 till 31st January 2020 enter enter and save it 